What is up YouTube? This is Zach of Dream Media Home Theater. If you guys are not a subscriber already, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below. Give me a big thumbs up on this video. Today we are going to talk speaker cables. Are they important? Should I just go get some thin little, you know, 22 gauge wire and hook up my $10,000 tower speakers or is there more to it? Um, we're really gonna dive deep into the different ways um, that, or specifically how Claris Audio, which is known as the leader in speaker cables, you know, they have patents and legit, true, hand-built, custom-made cables. Um, we're gonna talk about how they make these cables and um, why you need to spend the money on them if not, you're just doing yourself a disservice. So we're gonna get into some of those details on a Zoom meeting with Joe, the president of Claris and Tributary Cable. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get into it. What is up guys? This is Zach with Dream Media and today I'm going to be bringing on Joe with Claris Audio. He is going to be discussing the differences between uh, the cables that we have to offer to you, the Aqua and the Crimson Series. How are you doing today, Joe? Doing great, Zach. Glad to be here with you. I really appreciate your time. So these are top-notch, industry-leading cables and they're both amazing. But why might somebody want to choose one over the other? And let's kind of just talk about the technology built into this cable. Sure. Well, we're, we're talking about speaker cable. And in, yep. in the uh, speaker cables, we have a couple of different uh, types of speaker cable. We have what, what we call a bi-wire cable. And then we also have a second type of cable, which is a standard, what I call two to two, two connections on each end or SP in our, in our uh, denomination. So these cables are very interesting because internally we're using the Claris patents. And the Claris patents are saying that we have different shapes and sizes to give cable uh, dif different frequency bands a smoother and easier path to follow. And what happens is we wind up with a very smooth, open sound for these cables. Now on the speaker cable, uh, the standard Clara speaker cable, and we have two levels, by the way, crimson and aqua. Crimson just has more copper, and it's a bigger, heavier cable, and the windings in the aqua are not quite as sophisticated as, as they are, because we're using very special windings within the cable, too, and these windings help to make sure that we get the most signal through it, with the least change and over the, also the lowest noise. Really important concept. So the other thing we do, our speaker cables are flat. You know, most speaker cables you see are round, right? They have their round configuration. Ours are flat. So we put the left and the right side by side instead of one on top of the other. And on the by wire, they're four flat. So one, two, three, four together in a flat arrangement. What that does is it lowers the cable's inductance. And cable inductance is something that we always want to keep at a minimum because it affects the frequency range. So we keep our cables, all of them are done in a flat configuration. Then when we terminate our cables, we use a special, there's a, a block, a metal block that gives us the transition from the cable jacketing to the legs of the cable where we're gonna have the connectors on the end. And we have silicon tubes on those, on those legs to make it a nice smooth transition. You know, one of the things that we're really big on with our cables is fit and finish and cosmetics. These cables look beautiful. When you look at them, they're made the highest quality. All our solderers, for instance, in Orlando, our military grade quality. So we do all that soldering in house and we put these together. So everything not only will sound fabulous, but looks beautiful. It looks like somebody took the time and attention to put lo tender loving care into the cables. And you see that when you, when you look at them, but these cables, so we have a, uh, we have a standard cable, a bi wire, and we can also do a bi amp cable. A bi-amp cable is one where you would have two amplifiers uh, for each speaker, one 
amplifier for the low frequency side and another amplifier for the high frequency side. So we can configure the cable in what's called a bi amp also. So those are our different cables. So these, these cables are pretty much um, custom order. You, you guys manufacture them. Uh, they get, give our clients an idea of timelines and um, maybe uh, situations and uh, speaker types or price points where they may want to use one over the other, one series over the other. Well, for the, uh, we, yes, we make, we make all our cables in Orlando. So we, in other words, we take our rolls of wire we have it in, in the roll and we cut it, we cut it to specific lengths. So we can make whatever length we want. I mean, there, sometimes a customer has uh, one cable that might be one length, another cable length yeah, that might like be a slightly the, different length. If the we do that all here on the left hand side, you can get a three foot like, one made and then a 12 foot one made on the other side. Right. We do that all the time. We make the, all these special lengths and they're all usually done same day. So the time frame is short. I mean, when, when an order is placed for cables, we, we usually get them out same day. And, and if, there's a, if there's a large quantity, it might take a, a second day. But our cables are all done that quickly. I find that really impressive um, because it, like our opening order, um, there was a huge order of cables. Was that all made in one day? Yep. That was all made in one day. Yep. Beautiful. And it was all made in one day. Yep. And they're all, again, they're all handmade and then tested and then packaged and then shipped. So yes, they're all made in one day. And uh, as far as pricing is concerned on the speaker cables, the, um, the eight, an eight foot pair of um, uh, our SP cables, which are a heavier gauge cable. Uh, by the way, those are, that cable is a, winds up being about a 10 gauge cable. 10 gauge copper. Okay. So there's a lot of copper in that cable and there's a lot of windings in it. I mean, it takes us, uh, it takes us quite a bit to, uh, to prepare that for putting the connectors on because there's so many conductors yeah. and they're all insulated from one another. So they all have to be prepared and stripped back and take the insulation off and uh, get gotten ready for the, uh, for the connectors to be put on. But an eight-foot pair of the crimson speaker cable, um, I don't, I'm not sure. The, it's, a, it's around five thousand dollars retail price for a, an eight-foot pair. For the uh, aqua cables, uh, that cable is around uh, around uh, two thousand for an eight-foot pair, approximately. Okay. Uh, for that, so get your where the price ranges are for the cables. Yeah, it's good just to have a, an idea of where you. Yeah. So like, say you guys have a $20,000 pair of um, tower speakers, you may be looking at going with the Crimson's. Yeah. You know, we like, you know, when you look at those kinds of things, we generally look at a rule of thumb of what, what how much should I spend on cable? Yeah. I guess that's what I'm getting at. Can, can, can you help us? Yeah. Well, here, here's the way I look at it. And, I, and I'll tell my customers that I always look at the rule of about, it, with Claris, somewhere between 15 and 20% of the price of the components. Okay. Okay. So if you're, let's say you have a power amp and a preamp, and let's suppose that winds up to be, uh, just for a number, easy number, let's say it's $10,000 was the, what paid for the preamp and the power amp. Then I'd look at it somewhere be around 1500 to $2,000 for the interconnect cables to put the, to hook those up. Uh, when you're putting together a whole system, of course, then you have speaker wire, audio cables, digital cables, power cables. So now it might run up closer to the 20% mark. But that's a, that's a good figure to get, you, at least in the ballpark of where the cables should be so that the performance levels need to match. That's the important yeah, that really the performance helps. of the cables and the, you know, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And I can tell you people who kind of, when we see, you know, if you cheap, cheap out on cables uh, for a really nice system, it, the return on investment drops dramatically. So the cable, cable quality, cable performance level has to be up to the level of the components. 
Awesome. Well, you guys will see that live in action when we do our side by sides. We really want to believe in the product that we're selling you guys. And I believe that this is the best cable manufacturer out there. Well, I think that about wraps up the speaker cable discussion topic. Um, I really appreciate you coming on the call today uh, with me. Joe? Great. Uh, Glad to do it, Zach. Yeah, Glad I hope you're here. You Thank take you. care. I hope you have, have a great good day. Easy. Okay. Bye. All right, that is a wrap on speaker wire. Uh, Claris Audio, the Aqua and Crimson series are the best of the best. We also offer tributaries cable. And then, you know, for entry level systems, we even have bulk wire, you know, just stranded copper wire. So we have something for everybody. But this whole journey that I'm going on right now is for high fidelity. I'm trying to find out what is the best in the industry and deliver that to our clients. So we're gonna be doing real life tests of these speaker wires and uh, connecting them in different configurations so that we can give an honest opinion whether say um, the Aqua series and the Crimson series actually has a notable difference in like an audible difference. So we're gonna do stuff like that because I don't like just selling gear just to sell it. I like to actually believe that what I'm selling is uh, honestly better. So we're gonna get into all that. Make sure you subscribe to the channel guys if you're not subscribed already. I really appreciate your support. If you would like to purchase any cabling, projectors, screens, amps, I don't care what it is for your home, we have you covered with all the industry leading brands. Really appreciate your support. Till next time, this is Zach Dream Media Home Theater. Thank you for watching.